You're watching African Farming. Today in studio with me, I have Praveen Twarika from Lemang Agricultural Services, and we're going to be talking about climate change. Praveen, welcome. Thanks, Tavi. Great to be here. So, Praveen, let's talk about climate change. What are the, some of the global developments regarding the subject? Uh, it's interesting um, that we've got COP26 that's just taken place now, and some of the key aspects that we've that's come out of the conference is how drastically we need to take action when it comes to climate change. Um, you know, for far too long, I think we've ignored it, uh, especially as developing economies. We've we've really allowed climate change and the considerations of that to take a backseat. And I think it's important that we actually do start having conversations about it, but we do also start taking action uh, to combat climate change as much as we can. Now, Praveen, there's this perception from small scale farmers that they already have enough on their plate. I mean, climate change is only, is only for the big commercial farmers. How true is this? No, it, it, it cannot be further from the truth. I think as citizens, we all have a responsibility to contribute to combating climate change. Um, and small scale farmers are no exception to that. Uh, we play a pivotal role as, as the small scale farming sector. Every action that we take has either direct or an indirect effect on climate change. And it's important for us to understand that, you know, from the use of herbicides, pesticides, the way we cultivate our lands, uh, the way we preserve our uh, biodiversity within our communities, etc. All of that has an impact on sustainability and, and potentially climate change as well. So no, small scale, small scale farmers are not excluded from this. In fact, they are a critical component of it because of the large area of land that is managed by small scale farmers. So Praveen, how can agribusinesses like Avgri assist farmers to combat climate change? So agribusinesses have a critical role to play in supporting farmers by providing um, seed cultivars, for example, that are drought resistant, for example. We've seen in South Africa uh, how the climate pattern has changed over the years. We've just come from a period of severe drought for a prolonged period and then suddenly we've had cyclones. Uh, so we can see the harsh effects of, of these and agribusinesses through their in engagement with, um, with suppliers are able to uh, offer the farmers the best in class in so far as uh, seed and chemicals that are tailor-made for those specific crops, for those specific conditions to make sure that, for example, we're not polluting um, rivers and water sources in communities. So it is important for us to be able to, as agribusinesses, take the lead in ensuring that farmers have access to all of these new generation technologies to assist in combating climate change as far as we can. Now, you just mentioned something interesting here. Um, weather patterns are changing, things are not the same. So what are some of the ways in which farmers can farm sustainably and also impact um, on climate change? So th there's, there's small changes that farmers need to make. You know, we, 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 often, we often think about this as you know, a, a huge leap that we've got to take to do this, but it's actually not. Um, you know, when you're preparing your land, Ensure, for example, that when you're doing your contours, that you're doing them properly. Um, where you have the benefit of using no-till or minimum tillage, try to take that option as much as possible. Because you, you know, we've we've often spoken about farming as being a multi-generational activity, and certainly we want to preserve as much of the land for and other resources, of course, for future generations. And we know South Africa is a dry country comparing to the rest of the world, so it's important for us to 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 plant crops in a way where we use uh, you know, concepts like drip irrigation, et cetera, to make sure that we use water where it's needed and not necessarily wasting. Because you know, it's, it's also a resource that we need to provide for, for drinking. So it's important that we balance that need between agricultural use as well as domestic use. And it's those little changes that farmers need to make in their thinking, but also in their practice. And you know, we, we've often heard about you know, the, the bee population, for example, and uh, how that's been reducing over the past few decades. And uh, these statistics are real. And we've got to start thinking more about those things. Uh, bees are important pollinators for us in our crops. And certainly, we don't want to use the type of pesticides that negatively affects our, affects our bee population. So it's important for us to take those into consideration. Now, how does Lemang assist small-scale farmers to farm sustainably? 
So we are bringing um, sustainable farming practices into our daily conversations with our existing farmers, but at the same time, we're also trying to make it as affordable as possible for farmers to adopt new technologies. So we are in conversations with numerous agencies and financial institutions at the moment where we're trying to come up with creative finance solutions to make sure that farmers are able to adapt to these new technologies and be able to afford doing that without massively disrupting their current business operations. Now, Praveen, are there any final thoughts from you regarding this very difficult subject? Let's not ignore climate change. Uh, it's a reality. We have to start facing it. But let's start to make the small changes now so that we can ensure a sustainable future for ourselves. Praveen, thank you so much for your time and thank you for the contribution you are putting into the agricultural sector. It's our pleasure, Tavi. Mzanzi, we do not have to be helpless victims of climate change. Through sustainable agricultural practices, we can secure a better future. Thank you for watching African Farming and remember, we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.